What's going on? It's Eric Nathy with AboveTheBuzz.com, and today we're going to highlight five movies that are due to be released in the month of September. First off, we have Apollo 18, which comes out on September 2nd. Second, we have Warrior, which comes out on September 9th. And third, we have Straw Dogs, that comes out on September 16th. Now, as we move a little bit further, we hit Moneyball, which comes out September 23rd. And last but not least, number five is 50-50, which comes out on September 30th. Now, first, Apollo 18, which is released on September 2nd. Now, this is uh, supposedly the footage that was recovered from an Apollo 18 moon mission to Mars that was never really supposed to have happened. The government covered it up because of what the two astronauts that went to the moon discovered while they were there. Now, this movie has changed its release date multiple times over the last year, but right now it is scheduled for September 2nd to be the release date of the actual footage and for the truth to be revealed. And go ahead and take a look at the trailer and see if you believe that it's the truth. Beautiful, isn't it? This mission will mark the first use of the exterior motion sensor camera. I gotta document this. Nate says he never snores in his sleep. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> Up on the ridge, 10 o'clock. Found a Soviet helmet and are now following what appear to be tracks made by a possible Soviet cosmonaut. I hope you enjoyed the trailer for Apollo 18. And now we're going to dive into Warrior, which is directed by Gavin O'Connor and stars Tom Hardy, Joel Edgerton, and Nick Nolte. Now, Warrior is the story of two brothers who travel separate paths throughout their lives until they have to end up fighting each other in one major tournament at the end. Now, it seems by the trailer that we as audience members have two horses in the same race, so to speak. Now, with that said, it, if it's pulled off correctly, it could deliver a huge emotional blow to the audience at the end because we wouldn't be able to decide which side to choose. Now, as I watched the trailer, I noticed that it seems as if they pull it off pretty good because I was realizing that both points of view and both paths, though different, were both respectable and in the right track. So I'm looking forward to watching The Warrior on September 9th, but until it comes out, go ahead and watch the trailer and see what you think. was right I want to know the toughest man on the planet is that's what we're gonna find out Brendan it's me pop what are you doing here Tommy's back did he say if he wants to see me I'm proud of you Tommy what you did for that kid in the tank what was I supposed to do let him go Tommy Reardon you saved my life Look, Brendan, the bank has got to go by the new appraisal figures. You're upside down on your mortgage. How much do you need? I didn't come in for long, Frank. I was hoping that you would train me. Are you serious? Do it! I thought we agreed that we weren't going to raise our children in a family where their father gets beat up for a living. Brendan, you're a teacher. You got no business in the ring with those animals. Actually, I used to be one of those animals. I guess I forgot to put that down on my application. There's this big tournament. Top 16 middleweights in the world. And it takes all. I'm gonna need a trainer of that much.
what you were good at. Frank, I need this. I got a family to protect. Everything I do is for them. What's going on up here? Daddy is now a princess. Mom needed you. I needed you. You're my big brother. You bailed on me. I was a 16-year-old kid. What the hell did I know? You had a choice, okay? You had a choice. the trailer for Warrior got you psyched. But now on to Straw Dogs. Straw Dogs was directed by Rod Laurie and it stars Alexander Starsgard, Kate Bosworth, and James Marsden. And Straw Dogs is the story of a writer from Los Angeles who moves back to the hometown of his wife. And once they arrive, they run into tons of trouble with the locals who have been there since she left. Now, when I watched the trailer for this movie, my skin started to boil and I got really excited for the fierceness that could come through at the end. And the reason I say that is because James Marsden plays an extremely passive writer who moves into a territory unfamiliar. So he tries to be nice and play the good card, but then he gets pushed to a certain limit. And when you have a passive character hit that limit and they explode over the top, their actions are going to be so much more fierce than a, a terrible, angry character that you expect to do those actions and take those steps. And I think that Straw Dogs is going to pull this off on a phenomenal level, almost as good as History of Violence did. Now, don't take my word for it. Go ahead and check out the trailer and see what you think. Well, education is a very difficult thing to control, Harry. One thing leads Work on her and not me. No extra charge. Who's that? Hello, 911? 911, what's your emergency? There are five men with guns outside. What do you think? Oh, it's beautiful. It must have been great growing up here. We all trust each other here. We don't even lock our doors. I saw you in a picture wearing your cheerleading uniform. You can dig that out of storage for you if you want. I'd like that. I'm glad we came. <laughs> Fried pickle. Fried pickle. Come on, baby. No. It's good. No. Mr. Zoner. Charlie, put in a bid for me and my crew to rebuild that roof of yours. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's right. Can you start tomorrow? A little early. What do you think? That's the way we do things around here. You get used to it. OK. Thank you, guys. All right. Whoa. <laughs> that ain't right, man. That ain't right. I don't know what right is. They were practically licking my body outside. I can't just walk out there and accuse them. You're a coward. OK, I'm firing tomorrow. Not only that. How much are they going to pay us? Don't worry about it. We're all going to get what we deserve. Hey, Charlie, there is something in the Bible I do believe. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Well, what happens when thy neighbor's wife covets you? Well, education is a very difficult thing to control, Harry. One thing. There are five men with guns outside. They're not gonna come out, guys. So we have to get in. If they get in this house, we're dead. No! No! She's got some man in him after all. scared my house i will not allow violence against this house no, 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 no! i hope the trailer for straw dogs put you on edge i know it did me but now we're going to move on to moneyball which was directed by bennett miller and it stars brad pitt jonah hill and philip seymour hoffman 
Now, Moneyball is the story of Billy Bean as he tries to take a poor baseball team from nothing to something by using a computer analyzed system in order to pick his drafted players. Now, as you watch the trailer for this movie, it really gives you the feel that it's just a feel-good movie. That's what it is. And the reason I say that is because you take a guy where all the odds are stacked against him, such as Billy Bean, and what does he do? He finds a diamond in the rough that helps him pull it all together and makes it happen with a whole bunch of characters and people that no one in their right mind would think have success. And overall, this feel-good story has a beautiful message and that's that people aren't exactly what they seem. It's a beautiful message and it's going to be a beautiful movie. But don't take my word for it. Go ahead and check out the trailer for Moneyball and let me know what you think. There are rich teams and there are poor teams. Then there's 50 feet of crap and then there's us. That's a dollar, man. What? Welcome to Oakland. I need more money. We're not New York. Find players with the money that we do have. I like Perez. Got an ugly girlfriend. <laughs> ugly girlfriend means no confidence. You guys are talking the same old nonsense. Like we're looking for Fabio. We got to think differently. Who's Fabio? Your goal shouldn't be to buy players. Your goal should be to buy wins. And in order to buy wins, you need to buy runs. Who are you? I'm Peter Brand. First job in baseball? It's my first job anywhere. We're going to shake things up. Why don't you walk me through the board? I believe there's a championship team that we can afford because everyone else undervalues them, like an island of misfit toys. We want you at first base. I've only ever played catcher. It's not that hard, Scott. Tell him, watch. It's incredibly hard. He can't throw. But what can he do? Do you want me to speak? We're not pointing you yet. He gets on base. We are card counters at the blackjack table. We're going to turn the odds on the casino. I'm heading in. Text me to play by play. Wait, what? I don't watch the games. Billy Bean has tried to reinvent a system that's been working for years. It was a nice theory, just not working out. How long is Billy Bean going to last? He's proven himself right out of a job. In their minds, it's threatening the game. It's threatening the way that they do things. Hey, Daddy, do you think you'll lose your job? What? Where did you hear that? Well, I go on the internet sometimes. Don't go on the internet. Watch TV or talk to people. You're discounting what scouts have done for 150 years? What the hell am I doing? What is happening in Oakland? It defies everything we know about baseball. Just plain crazy! If we win with this team, we'll change the game. This better work. I'm just kidding. I hope the Moneyball trailer gave you the same feel-good feeling that it gave me. And now on to 50-50 which was directed by Jonathan Levine, stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Seth Rogen, and Anna Kendrick, and it is due to be released on September 30th. Now, 50-50 is the story of two friends who try to cope with the understanding that one of them has just come down with cancer. Now, as I watch the trailer to this movie, I feel that it's gonna be a strong, very good movie that deals with love, friendship, triumph over the impossible, and just a great movie. And I feel like they couldn't have picked two better characters to play those two crucial roles of the friends. I feel like Joseph Gordon-Levitt does a great job at portraying emotion in all the roles he's done and in the trailer. And I also feel that Seth Rogen can play a better friend than almost any actor out there nowadays. And he's proven it before and he also proves it in the trailer. But don't take my word for it. Go ahead and check out the trailer for 50-50 right now. I think you're making a big, big mistake. What? Don't do this. What are you talking Please about? Please don't do this. You said you're, you liked this You're gonna idea. look stupid, You man. said you would you're do it. You're gonna look weird. Come on, let's just do it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What do you use these for? My body. A tumor? Yes. Me? Yes. Hey, <laughs> that, that, that doesn't make any sense, though. I mean, I, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I, you know, I recycle. How do you feel right now? Fine. 
You know, I, I can't remember being so calm in, in a long time. Would you describe what you're feeling as a kind of numbness? No, described as fine. You're young. Young people beat cancer all the time. Every celebrity beats cancer. Tom Green, Dr. Dexter, Lance Armstrong, he keeps getting it. I'm moving in. No, Mom, no. I'm your mother, no. Adam. Wait, exactly. You want to make a room? Oh, thanks, I'm all right. There's weed in them. You got a prescription for medicinal marijuana? No, I got a prescription. Well, what's wrong with you? I have night blindness. <laughs> <laughs> We shouldn't have done this. Yeah, big mistake. You're using your balls trimmers yeah. instead of going to a park. I never watch them ever. Hello? Hey, it's Adam. Adam? What, what's going on? I'm just probably having a nervous breakdown. What are your chances? I said 50-50. It's not that bad. If you were a casino game, you'd have the best odds. It's what everybody's been saying. You'll feel better and don't worry and this is all fine and like, it's not. You can't change your situation. The only thing that you can change is how you choose to deal with that. You really think that a girl's gonna go for me just because I have cancer? For the millionth time, yes! Great song. Totally. I have cancer. I was wrong. I was wrong. Nice it was, it was weird. It's yeah. weird like that. No, that's it's not, too it, soon. it doesn't sound cool. No. I hope you enjoyed all the trailers today. And just to recap, we covered Apollo 18, Warrior, Straw Dogs, Moneyball, and 50 50. And remember to check in at the end of every month for a preview for the following month, as well as every Thursday for up-to-date information on the releases coming out and suggestions for what to watch over the weekend. For now, this is Eric Nathy with AboveTheBuzz.com, and thank you much for tuning in.